Hello children. Today I am going to discuss the very first chapter, the speech by Chief Seattle, 1854 of your short story. So before going to the chapter, you must understand a brief history of America because it will be very helpful to uh, understand the chapter. Just I'm asking you one question. Suppose uh, uh, few Americans have come to visit to your school. So what picture will come to your mind? Yes, you must be thinking of five, six white men or women. Because we know, we know that uh, Americans are white people, but this is not the fact. We don't know that uh, original inhabitants of America are Red Indians, not white people. It is to be remembered here that with Columbus' accidental discovery of America, the white men's obsession with the newfound land was such that they insisted more and more on acquiring the land for their own purposes without giving uh, regard to the fact that uh, there are people who existed in those places. The Red Indians were natural part of America much before the white people reached the American source. As the white people reached there, they claimed the land as their own and tried to manipulate the land for their own purposes for agriculture, later for setting up industries, and also to find out natural resources. The Red Indian did not perceive the white men as their enemies and did not find any reason to think of any misdeeds in the way the white men settled there. But the white man's hunger for acquiring more and more led to a situation when it became paramount that they need to acquire the whole of the continent for themselves so as to attain mastery not only over the land but also over the people staying there. So there was a, a deliberate attempt as to make the Red Indians not only vanish in reality, but from all discussions on America, so as to ascertain the fact that the whites own America. In other words, the culture of the Red Indians was completely disregarded in the narratives of America. So today, what we see that large population of America are white people, not Red Indian. So next, uh, what the question is very important that we have to understand the context in which this speech was delivered and who was Chief Seattle. So Chief Seattle was the public leader and the chief of Native American, that is Red Indian. He was the leader of Sukamish tribe, the Native American. Second question is why this speech was delivered. This speech was a response to the American government, the governor Stevens, governor of Washington, had sent a proposal to buy the land of Red Indian. Chief Seattle responds to this proposal in an ironic way so as to make the white men realize how they have been oppressing the Red Indian and that the Red Indian cannot afford to fight the white men in terms of their martial strength armed forces. They were fully equipped armed force. If they fight, they would bring more and more destruction to their land only. So Red Indians were not in condition to fight with white men and they were left only with one option to accept the proposal. So Chief Seattle, as the leader of the tribe, thought that it was his duty to respond to the proposal. So 
he put forward certain conditions to the proposal of acquiring the land because he wanted the white man to keep respect for the native americans right and at the same time they have to show the respect towards environmental values so dear children next video i will explain uh, important paragraphs of this story and uh, by that time just uh, means uh, you just go through the chapter one time you read so you will understand it in a better way thank you children